Good evening. The state government insists Adelaide Oval will be ready for a 35,000 strong Ashes crowd come December, even though thousands of patrons will be seated in a virtual construction site. Nine News has put the minister responsible on the spot during an exclusive tour of the ground. Exactly three months until the first ball's bowled and Adelaide Oval's got some work ahead of it. How the hell is there going to be a test standard grass and pitch ready for the December test? Well, the turf that we're growing is, is ready to play turf. We've laser levelled it now. The drainage systems are in. The gravel's being laid out. The Santa Ana Cooch grass is being grown in Langhorn Creek while the pitches are being prepared off-site. This is the drop-in pitch area. Very controversial at the time, but we've been assured by curators from around the world it is world's best practice. Builders hope to lay the turf next month. To what extent does the weather play a part? Because obviously it's playing a part today. Uh, the biggest issue for us isn't so much the rain with the turf, it's the heat. We want the, uh, the grass to grow. We've got to make sure we can transport it quickly, effectively, and get it down and get it watered as quickly as we possibly can. With 8,000 footy memberships already snapped up, authorities are determined not to repeat Melbourne's disastrous Docklands opening when the turf resembled a sandpit. There are a lot of lessons from that, a lot of lessons about enclosed stadiums and how that worked. This is an open stadium, so we won't have those problems here. 5,000 seats will be available in the Eastern Stand come December, but with a proviso. It'll be a construction site. Let's not, not beat about the bush here. I mean, that stand will not be finished for the Ashes. But it's a bonus. We weren't planning on having it ready, but I think it's going to be a good little addition. The world will be watching the Ashes test and, it, and, it, and you're calling it a construction site. Is that a concern? I think it's going to be a breathtaking site for everyone watching it around the world. It is um, a logistical uh, mammoth task that we're undertaking. Uh, I equate it to the invasion of another country. Tom Richardson, 9 News.